Once again, another beautiful day. Now as a bit of a gesture, Derek has removed the barriers and invited me around for a barbecue. Which is lovely. Good morning everyone and welcome back to Survival Challenge. Now in order to be able to care for the cows, we do need to um, to get some grass and some silage on the on the way. Um, we also have <coughs> cheese to sell, and we have eggs to sell. We have this single pallet of wool here as well. But I think uh, first of all we need to get started on the mowing. Now, obviously, with the um, with the hay, we'll need it widespread, and then we can um, use the tether on it as well. But with the silage, we will just cut it and row it in one go. We're going to do this all on our new land. Now, there was also, I think, some weeding that needs to be done. Look at that. The canola is very nearly ready. Yes, we've got some weeding that needs to be done as well. Now, I could see if we can get Derek to do that while we're... If we can get Derek to make a start, at least, before he gets bored and goes home, then that would be terrific. The weeds are fully grown now, so they're, really, they're easier to see, even with raccoon eyes. So I think there's a good, possibly a good chance of um, of that being okay. And I think next month, I say next month, it'll be next episode, we are going to be harvesting the canola, which is absolutely fantastic. Right then. Come on then, Derek. Do me proud. And I shall crack on with the mowing. But I think what we're going to do is we. This time, obviously, we'll make grass silage and we'll make hay. Then I think I'm going to leave half this field as grass and I'm going to put in a nice square field of poplar. Or should I put, oh, should I do some sugar cane? Oh, I might divide it into three. Put in some poplar and some sugar cane. We also need to, um... Yeah, because we, we would need to get a, uh, a poplar harvester. Or it, it, it would be a forage harvester, but with a poplar header on it. Right then. We'll start up at this end. Just into this plot here. As you can see, we are creating a swath. So this is going to be our... Oh. Well, that front one's not working at all. Why is this? Hmm. Oh, well. I'd have to do for now. There we go. Right. So, yes, yeah, silage will be up this end. And then hay, we can do around the other side of the forest there.
Right, that's a nice little section there of, um, of grass cut. <clears throat> now we want to change the work mode. Uh, well, there we go. <laughs> change the work mode to widespreading. Because that's what we're going to need for hay, because we're going to need to ted it all. This is a nice big open space here, so hopefully this hay will keep us going for quite a while. I'm nowhere near the border, am I? I'll have to go back and collect that afterwards. But yeah, we'll get this. Um, we'll get this cut. We'll get it tethered. I think Derek is. Uh, we well, did have to restart him, as you saw. But we. Um, I think he's he's doing fairly well now. Let's have a quick look. Yeah, I think he's doing pretty good. It's certainly covering the majority of it anyway. Which is which is good. Yeah. Oh. Oh, his tank is empty. Well, that's. That's a reasonable excuse, I think. Well, we'll just cut this bit of grass here, then we'll go refill his tank and set him going again. And then we'll start with the uh, tedding and windrowing. Ooh, windrowing. I haven't got a windrower. I'll need to get one. And not a ridiculously sized one. But yeah, I'll get a decent windrower. And then after we've tedded, we can row it up, then we can bale the whole lot. Wrap the silage, and then hopefully the cows will be able to... Yeah, so they've got a bit of hay at the minute. We've got two more hay bales in storage. Well, I could give them a little bit more hay, but I'd rather not. I'd rather wait and only give it to them if they really need it because I want to get total mixed ration in straight away if I can now when I say straight away I mean they'll need to go another month so we can ferment the bales but I've got my mixer now we bought that last episode at the end of the last episode it's still up at the, um, at the dealership at the moment but we have got it so I'll be going to pick that up as well at some point Right, I'll carry on with this, and then we'll finish up. Right then, let's get let's get Derek some more herbicide. Use quite a lot of it actually. Oh, there's a tree there. Uh, yeah, he's used quite a lot of it in, in quite a short space of field. Probably ought to look into getting a self-propelled sprayer at some point. Because this, um, although it's marvellous, it's a bit small. Right, 
So if you can get the majority of the um, of the weed sprayed without my assistance, then I think that'll be okay. I think um, I think he could probably get a fairway. Not like a golf fairway, but a fairway through the field. And I can always come back and do the bits he's missed afterwards, because like I said, at least they're fully grown weeds and they're nice and easy to see now. Right, I think she needs to turn him around here. Then we can set him off again. Yeah, this should do it. Off you pop, Derek. In the meantime, we are going to use this ridiculously large tractor to run this ridiculously small tether to be able to get some hay. And then we'll need to um, we'll need to row it up somehow. We get a get a, a row if we can. I think we probably might want to sell some produce before we do that, just so that we can afford a slightly bigger wind rower. Right. Anyway, first things first. I'll get this tedded, and then we'll move on to the next job. Right, well, that is a remarkably small tether, and it takes quite a long time to do anything with it. Right, let's have a quick check up on Derek. What on earth is he doing? Well, nothing at all, apparently. Right, well, I need him to do something, so... Maybe I'll take him down the bottom and we can we can finish up this top bit later. And head around the edges as well to all the bits that he might have missed. Yeah, look at the state of it. So many weeds. Hopefully, it'll keep going for a little bit now. And what we need to do is start selling some produce. Actually, I haven't checked the... Um, the sale today, it'd be good to check that. Nothing in there that we want. At some point, I really, really would like to get a telehandler. But I don't want to do it until one comes up in the sale. The John Deere is absolutely brilliant so far. Oh, 
So I need the trailer. And I need the John Deere to start loading bits up. Because we need the eggs. The cheese. That is a pallet of wool. That's what we're going to be selling today. You know what else I need to get, don't you? A manure heap. Because now we've got a, uh, a cow barn that can take straw. It can produce manure as well. Which is amazing news. But we do need somewhere for it to be produced. Will it come under silos? Probably, yeah, get a manure heap under silos. What a fairly large one, though. Four million litres. Well, that should do it. Yeah. We've elapsed with other objects. What other object? Not overlapping with anything. There. Oh. Should have sorted the ground out first. Yeah. Job done. And hopefully, that'll start accumulating manure. And we should have some slurry in here as well. 5,000 litres of slurry so far. Well, that's really good. We have 38,000 litres of straw in here, although by no means is it full. I do ha have... Oh, there's piles of straw over here. I do have... Lots more straw in there. So I've got plenty of opportunity to get more straw in there. For now, though, we do need to sell some produce because I need to afford a windrower. And at some point soon, I'm going to be wanting to get a slurry spreader. Because when we've harvested the um, the canola, first thing I want to do is put slurry on there. But like I said, first of all, we need a windrower. So that's what selling this produce here is going to get us. Right, I'll see you when I've got a trailer full. Right then. This. That should be plenty enough to be able to afford a, a decent enough windrower. <clears throat> In the meantime. What is he doing? Got caught on trees again. Might be helpful if I just did one lap of the uh, of the woodland bit. Just to give it a, give Derek a bit of space between the wood and the rest of the field. There we go. Now we need to send him back off down in this direction. And 
Oh, there we go. Oh, that was too far. Right, now this lot, this lot needs to go up to the store. Oh, a, you know, the cheeky cheese pallet. Well, we'll leave that for now. I shouldn't need any more in order to buy a windrower. The well, most important thing is we get the cows fed TMR. So, I shall see you up at the store where we'll sell these goods and buy a windrower. Right, so here we are. It'll probably sell without me even taking the straps off. Yep. And the eggs take the longest to sell. But now we have way over £40,000. Yeah, all of that came to over 30... Nearly 32000 So we can leave that there. And we can have a quick look. Nothing come up in the sale, unfortunately. We have a quick look at windrowers. I want a fairly good sized one. I mean, that one's always a favourite. Um, so 8.4 metres. Then we've got this Crone Swadro 9.7. Now that jumps massively up in price. Can't actually afford that. So I think it's going to be the Samez, the old favourite. There we go, we have a windrower. We've still got to bring back our feed mixer, but we don't need that until we've got some... some feed to mix. Right, I'm going to get back, and we're going to get the rest of this done in a time lapse so that all we've got to do after that is finish off the um, finish off the spraying that Derek is, is messing up nicely now and then uh, yeah and then I think that'll be a good day's work
that was a very, very busy July. We've done a lot in this episode. And on that note, I am not going to be finishing off Derek's spraying today. I'm going to be doing that in the next episode. Maybe at the start of the next episode. Before I believe we will be harvesting the canola. And when we harvest the canola, it's going straight into this factory here to make oil. Canola oil. Which will be absolutely incredible. And I'm very much looking forward to getting that production underway. In terms of what I'm going to do with the field that we've just cut and bailed, I'm still undecided. I'll have a think about it. But I would very, very much like to do poplar. I would also like to do sugar cane. And I fully appreciate that both of those have extremely expensive harvesters, harvesters tied to them as well. Um, so, yeah, we're going to have to wait and see. And we also need to be able to afford a sunflower header for the class harvester. So, anyway. Thank you for sticking with me through this busy day. I'm going to have some barbecue now with Derek. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you again very soon. Bye for now.